Back at 650 Game here and welcome back to Automation. So you might notice that this is not a stream since it's, well, not streaming. I feel like total garbage and I think I'd like tomorrow to just kind of relax a little bit. So here we are playing this. This might not be a very long video. I do apologize, but like I said, I feel quite unpleasant. I have quite the headache at the moment among other things. So we're in the latest beta version, whatever it's called, LCVG3Q25, I don't know. Um, we've also got, well, okay, there's the build number down there that you can't really see, but whatever, that gives you some information, let's go. I also showed it right there. But anyway, it lets you try out the new light campaign thing, and I haven't messed with the campaign mode at all, campaign mode. Um, uh, the first opt-in beta version of the LCV3 has not been properly tested in our past, there will be plenty of bugs, blah blah blah, do not expect to keep your safe games, so on and so forth. So we get to pick where we start, um, I guess I'll go with that one, I think, I assume that's probably the easiest one, and we're gonna go with Blackout Automobile, mo mo Biles, Automobiles, right there, oops, um, can I just give myself more money? I can, what do you know? I'm not particularly interested in my score, because I don't care that much. Um, higher equals harder. Does this say anything? No. So we'll lower that. All right. Um, I don't know, I guess better bottom end, sure. Uh, better chassis and Interior. I've seen a little bit of the uh, things, a few of the uh, update things that one of the developers does about some of this stuff, but I didn't really watch most of it, so yeah. That could be an issue. Yeah, I really don't know how to set all this up. Yeah, let's go with that then. All right, cool. Oh, I must have added too many things at some point. All right, whatever, let's go. All right, so I have no idea how to start. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only got $4.5 billion, so that could be an issue. Let's go here, I assume, and there. We'll follow the things that are blinking. I mean, this will be the target region. I mean, it's, it's where we're starting, so we might as well, right? Sure, it'd be cool if my watch would listen, though. Here it goes. Um. Okay. Um. Modify model, I guess. Oh, so now I have to design the car, and it, it's 1946. Is it, or is it? I don't know what's happening. All right, whatever. I guess I have to select from... Oh, yeah, okay. It is 1946 when we're starting. Um, I always enjoy working with these, but that's also because I like to make ridiculously stupid cars. So, why don't we start off making, like, a light as wagon. Wagon. I was going to say SUV, but I guess it's a wagon. A wagon. So, we'll start with that. We don't get a whole lot of options, so it's gonna be steel and ladder with... I really don't know what the advantage of galvanized steel is, so just regular steel. Um, is the front... we'll do... Coil, the back will be leaf. This leaf... I would have pulled the leaf up front, plus one on the quality. Okay. Time size. We check trim for errors or remove trim slot to progress. What's time slice? Uh, okay. Uh, probably utility budget. I guess. Oh, can I change the name to the. to. Move mobile. Perfect. Okay. So 
Now what? Oh, do I need to... I probably need to do all this stuff then. It probably needs an engine, huh? Uh, it's gonna get an inline six. Four. Inline four. Go up in size a lot. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be rear wheel drive, so that's not an issue. Up the stroke and lower the bore. We'll go with a 3.2 liter. Straight four. That's a heckin' shonker of an engine. Alright. Um, push rod. It goes. And all that. Sure. Uh, heavy duty cast. Nah, regular cast. And again, regular cast. Plus two. Okay. Um, can't really mess with any of this stuff at the moment because there's not much to mess with. Yep. Uh... Two barrel? Well, okay, we can do two single barrels or one two barrel. Guess we'll do two single barrels. Performance. No, standard. Okay. Uh, does this look any kind of different? Whoa. And two barrel. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go regular single barrel twin. Uh, regular leaded. And leave all that for now, although we're probably gonna want to lower that. Okay, and then short cast. Baffled. Actually, we'll do nothing then baffled. Baffling, alright. And now it's ruined, alright. So the RPM was way too high apparently still. Not surprised. Really mildly disappointed. No more valve float, however. We need to significantly lower the uh, octane, so we're going to lower the compression, which I kind of figured we'd have to do, but didn't want to, so we're going to up that. Oof, alright, well right now we're getting up to 12 horsepower, and that's not good. There it goes. Getting better. We need to get it down to 87. Hmm. Might be a uh, bit of an issue. Does lowering this help? I know sometimes it does something beneficial, but not this time. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. That's great. Um, there's not really a whole lot I can do. So I guess I'll just keep lowering things. Or raising things, depending on the needs. So we need 87. Almost there. A little more fuel to up the power. And, oh, we're also killing the pistons and conrods now because they're too weak. They're weak. So... I think that, you, yeah, that usually lowers the uh, torque. Oh, and now we're losing power along with it for some reason. Okay. I mean, we can make it a little bit smaller. What if we do this? Okay. Oh, they're rated for up to 3,500 RPM. Then we're going... What do we have? 39. All right, fine, fine, fine. Set that to their limit. And we can up this one, I guess. And, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. That's useful. What a useful engine we have here. I mean, it's pretty quiet. I'll give it that. What's that do? Oh, that. It does that. Okay, what's next then? We got edit variant. Nope. Uh. Okay. Oop. I did something, and apparently it was a good thing to do. Project management. What's this do? That's still the engine. Alright. Guess... Wait. Can't go back. Can't wake up. Alright. Is this a checkbox? It is. Okay. Engine factory one. I mean, that was pretty... Seemed pretty easy to me. 
Oh, modify factory. It's going to be in... There we go. All right. Uh, quality assurance testing, please. And maintenance. Sure. I mean, I've got $4.5 billion. I can probably spend a little money. Oh. Well, that's already $5 million. Medium. I guess it just stays at $5 million then. And now it's starting to look like the uh, track in Beam and G. Excellent. Well, we're going to go small one. Should be fine with those. Um, and if Forge works, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Cool. No automation. Come on. Tooling quality, however, will go up, which will cost me money, but I think it'll be worth the extra cost. Don't know what I'm doing. All right, next. All right, so that's all still work in progress, getting team members and stuff. Um, <clears throat> gonna go mainly manual because, you know, want to provide jobs or something. Mm, processing will be a little more automated though. Costs me more, but you know, is better and up the reliability, of course. I don't know. I guess we'll leave that there. I go a little bit more towards learning as well. Yeah, that should be something. I set project ready to uh, you Yes. Do that. All right. Now what are we doing? This is still the engine. Okay. What am I doing? Oh. Do things. Edit trim. I don't think I've done that yet. No, I haven't done that yet. Okay. That's probably part of the issue then, huh? Um, are you not moving because you're being annoying or it's because it was being annoying? Okay. Get a little bit longer. Bring that out a little bit more. Bring that out a little bit more. Uh, Squish that in a little, I guess. Oop. And squish that. Does it not go in anymore? It doesn't go in anymore. All right, and squish that forward. Which I guess isn't squishing. Whatever. Then I, uh, okay, I can get a little more of an angle. Cool. I think that's a decent enough place to start. Plus one body quality. Um, paint it black, I think will be fine. Cool. You can have it in any color you want as long as it's black to uh, to copy Ford. I don't know why these are so large. Uh, we're just going to go with very simple these, which I think are new, actually. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Let's add some turn signals to that. Um, some of these, I guess. Cool. We'll chuck a grill on there. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess that'll work, much, much smaller though, cool, that should be plenty of cooling for that tiny little engine, okay, uh, let's go taillights now, simply these, I guess, like right there. That's unpleasant. That's a little better, I guess. Not really. Barely. What do you look like? Okay, that's a little bit better. It's kind of, you know, fits in a little bit more. It's a little more flat and whatnot. Um, and I guess really that's all we need. But I'll, I'll put a reverse on there. Oh boy, that's a lot. White and white. I'm just going to do one in the center. That works. Can I actually just put it on top of the chrome? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. There she go. Um, we'll put some indicator on the side like this, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? And I guess one up here as well. I'll be nice. 
All right, uh, we'll do the exhaust now, I guess. Actually, uh, that. Does the uh, thing where it moves to the engine automatically, is that in yet? The answer would be no, it would appear. That'll work, going kind of through the, uh, the rear bumper there. Move, please, please move. Oops. All right, guess it's fine there. Apparently, um, I think the rims are fine. Don't really need any more vents. I guess fuel filler cap would be okay to add. I guess not that one though, because it's glitchy. Okay, that right there, sure. Uh, door handles probably necessary, I suppose. Ooh, there's a headache again. All right, uh, we'll put one on the back as well. Something. Actually, we got two doors, so I guess we can do that. Kind of reminiscent of a hearse, but whatever. I don't know why it's reminiscent of a hearse, but it just kind of is. Um, mirrors. A lot of times, I only had one. Uh, this guy. But I'll be nice, I'll include two, two mirrors. I know, craziness, but yeah. Two whole mirrors, all right. License plate or number plate, whatever you wanna say. Um, we'll go with concept, why not? Yeah, there's not really anywhere for me to put this. Uh, I guess I can just put it off to the side on the door, huh? Okay, then we can put one on the front as well. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, don't need any extra bumpers. We'll put some badge on there. Use a use a badge. Big enough that it can be split. One on the front. So everybody knows who they're messing with. Totally garbage vehicle. Um, unless there's a rim that looks a little more industrial, I think I'm good. It looks kind of more industrial. Ah, perfect. That's fitting, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking those, probably. Yeah. Okay, we can go back to paint and take the rims. Just set that to carbon fiber just to change it. I don't hear it. It's like the whole thing and make that all chrome and then... Okay, that can be that, I guess. I'll stay that, and there you go. Perfect, okay, and wait, is that everything? We got exhaust, I don't think we need an antenna yet. Well, we'll chuck an antenna on there, I suppose. 1946, I guess there was some radio at the time. Uh, I don't know if it was FM yet, or just AM. That's a little jank. Don't wanna put that up top. All right, well, we'll just put it way up there, because that's normal on the hood. That's good for aerodynamics. And that should be good, I think. So it's gonna be rear wheel drive, manual, three gears, top speed, says it can do 107. I'd like to see it try. I would actually, I'd be quite impressed. And we're actually gonna go up. No, we're not, we're gonna go down a little bit. All right. Um, We'll just do open, plus one, I guess. Uh, cross ply, hard long life. Everybody's a little bit bigger. Uh, so the big rims, all right, that makes it smaller. Wheel all around. Very high profile, let's try to... All right, fine. I guess we do need to be able to fit some amount of brakes in there. Oh. All right, um, can a, oop, that's done horrible things, okay. Another oh, tiny, good thing this engine makes no power at all. Bring those out of it, okay. Plus two, next. Yeah, I can't really do a whole lot with that, huh? Guess we'll just make those maximum size. Lower that one by one whole inch. Bring this down to comfort, towards comfort. 
Uh, more towards the front. Plus two. Uh, nothing at all. Nothing. Uh, up this some more. Definitely up that. Uh, did they have the ability to direct airflow specifically to the brakes at that time? I feel like they didn't, but what do I know? <sighs> okay. Uh, two seats, fine. Basic. I guess premium AM. Oh, I don't know that you need an antenna for AM. Maybe you do. I guess you do. You don't always. Uh, 94.6, so I guess we'll do standard 40s. Plus one. Uh, don't have much of a choice there. Utility. Guess that's it. Oh, it. Why is it mostly muscle? I mean, whatever. Sell it to whoever will buy it. Oh boy, it's yelling at me for everything. Engine's running too rich. Oops. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Um, has some wheel spin, so I guess we can stretch that out a little more. Zero to 62 in 16.4 seconds. Mm. Okay, so that'll help a little bit with the wheel spin. And I guess that's uh, that. I guess I'll save. I don't, I don't know. So there you go. There's your garbage vehicle. All right. I should not have started with this. Um... I guess that's that. Next. Um, yes. This fun factory has not been signed off. Oh, right. Okay, so this is the actual car factory. The other one was the uh, engine making facility. Well, we need steel presses, but we need at least a medium for that, apparently. So, steel presses. Uh... I guess that's pretty much it. Staff facilities, we'll add that on. Um, quality assurance testing. That should be fine. We don't need anything else yet. All right, that should be nice and expensive. Yay. Um, we'll add a little bit of automation. Not much. Eight. And then up the tool quality. 58. Yay. Okay, next. Oh, geez. All right. Um, tooling will be mostly manual. And then we'll add a little bit more to the process for automation and up the reliability to 60. Funding, I don't know what's better. Uh, pressure will be more towards work again. I'm sorry, learning. Um, yep. Sure. Great. I don't know what's happening. Let's do it. The move mobile and making the, uh, this. Well, here we'll do the 3.2, the. Can't change it. Okay. Cool, perfect. I guess so. She went to sign off on the site. Yes. Oh. Right click to dislike. What's happening? Okay. There we go. Why are you yellow? I don't know what's happening. Go. Yes. Agree. What's happening? Um, have I lost money yet? Probably. Am I doing anything? I feel like I'm not doing anything. All right, so what are you, what, what, um, 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 can I set R&D to do something? Or I guess it's just automatically doing these things. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to do another thing? Another open project? Okay. Uh, what's this do? Nothing particularly useful. Okay, well, I've stopped knowing what to do. Not that I ever did before. So I think I'm going to end this here. 
again, I'm sorry there wasn't a stream today. I'm just not feeling it. So, yeah. I do apologize. And again, sorry, this is also so very short. Only 25 or so minutes. Just not doing well today. So, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like if you want. I'd really get it if you didn't. Um, any suggestions, tips, tricks, whatever. In the... Uh, and leave that in the comments below if you'd like. If you didn't enjoy this video, don't leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video.